Today, Videlo Productions is taking a look at the top 50 richest billionaires in the world in 2018 2019. Please remember to subscribe to the channel with the bell icon and share the video with your friends to help support the channel. Any support is much appreciated. Number 50, Loren Powell Jobs. The first woman on our list is the creator of the Emerson Collective and the widow of Steve Jobs. She also created the Lauren Powell Jobs Trust, which is currently the largest individual shareholder in Disney. She has given millions to charity, including a $15 million commitment to the XQ The Super School project. And as of 2018, her net worth stood somewhere in the region of $18.8 billion. Number 49, Elon Musk. Working to revolutionize transportation in both Earth and in space, Elon Musk is the owner of car company Tesla Motors and rocket company SpaceX. He grew up in South Africa, then emigrated to Canada at the age of 17, with him landing in the US as a transfer student at the University of Pennsylvania. As of 2018, his net worth stood somewhere in the region of $19.9 billion. Number 48, James Simmons. Being a hedge fund manager has its rewards, and that cannot be said more truthfully than for number 48 on our list, James Simmons. The founder of Renaissance Technologies Corporation, his net worth totals $20 billion. He was a codebreaker for the United States during the Vietnam War and has given away $2.1 billion to various charities over the years. He owns a sprawling mansion in New York with a private pool, ocean view and a separate guest house. Number 47, Li Chi Wu. Li Chi Wu chairs casino operator Galaxy Entertainment Group and property developed KY International Holdings, both listed in Hong Kong. Initially a construction material supplier, KWA develops property principally in Hong Kong and mainland China. Li first made his mark supplying gravel for Hong Kong's post-war construction boom and his net worth is $20.1 billion. Number 46, Len Blavatnik. Born in Ukraine, raised north of Moscow, Len Blavatnik emigrated to the US in 1978 for school and he studied computer science at the Columbia University. He is a dual citizen of the US and the UK and purchased Warner Music in 2011 for $3.3 billion. Blavatnik says he has given over $500 million to philanthropy, mostly to universities including Oxford and Stanford with a net worth of $20.2 billion. Number 45, Theo Albrecht Jr. This guy inherited one of the world's greatest retail fortunes that originated in SN Germany and later grew into the retail giant we know today as Aldi that he created with his brother Carl. Not much is known about his personal life other than the fact he has an estimated net worth of $20.2 billion. Number 44, Thomas Petefi. A digital trading pioneer, Thomas Petefri is CEO of Interactive Brokers, which markets its specialized trading platform to sophisticated investors. Petefri arrived in America in 1965 at age of 21, the penniless descendant of Hungarian aristocrats who lost nearly everything to the Soviets. He founded Interactive Brokers in 1993 after originally starting in market making and has a net worth today of $20.3 billion. Are you enjoying our video on the top 50 richest billionaires in the world? If you are, then please consider checking out our video on 10 expensive things previously owned by Steve Jobs. Links on the info card in the description and as always at the end of the video. Number 43, Dietier Schwartz. This real estate magnet owns a company called Swartz Group and annually brings in revenue of $86 billion. It comprises of two retail giants, including both Lidl and Kaufland, with the former being Germany's second biggest discounter behind Aldi. Swartz is notably a private person with only two pictures of him known to exist and has been married for 50 years with two children and he has an estimated net worth of $20.9 billion. Number 42, Leonardo Del Vecchio. 
the founder of Luxottica, not only celebrated his 80th birthday in 2015, he also granted $10 million worth of shares to employees of the company. The company is currently the largest producer of both sunglasses and prescription sunglasses that also owns Ray-Ban and Oakley businesses. He also holds stakes in a French real estate company and a Italian insurance company with his net worth currently standing at $21.2 billion. Number 41, Yang Haiyan. Yang Haiyan owns 57% of real estate developer County Garden Holdings, a stake largely transferred to her by her father, Young Kwok Kyung, in 2007. Yang's aunt, Yang Mirong, holds a stake in Bright Scholar and was a member of the 2017 Forbes China Rich List. Yang, however, is worth $21.9 billion. Yang holds a degree from The Ohio State University and chairs Bright Scholar Education Holdings, a Chinese education company that went public on New York Stock Exchange in 2007. Number 40, Stefan Quant. After inheriting substantial stakes in BMW, Mini and Rolls-Royce, Stefan's wealth has ballooned to a massive $22 million. He currently owns a 25.6% stake of car giant BMW and sits on the advisory board for the company. He also owns and manages Delton AG, a holding company whose subsidiaries include a $2 billion maker of homeopathic drugs and a logistics company. Number 39, Masayoshi Son. Masayoshi Son founded and runs SoftBank, a mobile telecom and investment firm with $81 billion of revenue in 2017. In December 2016 at Trump Tower, Son promised that SoftBank would lead a $50 billion investment in the US companies and create 50,000 jobs. Investors in Sun's vision fund include Apple, chip firm Qualcomm, manufacturing firm Foxconn, and the family office of billionaire Larry Ellison. $22.7 billion puts him in the position of number 39. Number 38, Michael Dell. If you thought the last guy's house was insane, then forget it, because Michael Dell has four houses, and one of them has actually been called the castle. This 33,000 foot square house is purchased on top of a hilltop on the outskirts of Austin, Texas. With eight bedrooms, a conference room, indoor and outdoor pools, and a stunning view of a Lake Austin, it's got the queer name from its high walls and elaborate security arrangements. Other homes include the Anguilla Beach home, the Raptor residence, a 6D ranch along with a Gulf Stream, five private jets, and a net worth of $22.7 billion. Number 37, Giovanni Ferrero. Giovanni Ferrero is the son of Michael Ferrero, who turned the family's namesake confections business into a global giant. Known for his ownership of iconic Nutella chocolate hazelnut spread, Kinder Chocolates and Tic Tac Mints, he stepped down as CEO in 2017, but stayed chief executive. In January 2019, he inked a deal with Nestle to acquire the company's entire US confections business for $2.8 billion, and his net worth reached $23 billion in 2018. Number 36, Joseph Safra. Banking is next to appear on our list and this billion dollar bank leader originates from the banking family in Syria. He currently not only owns Banco Safra, Brazil's 8th largest bank, but also the Gherkin in London that was purchased for a reported price of $1.1 billion. His net worth currently stands at a whopping $23.5 billion, with him owning many properties in both Brazil and New York. Number 35, John Mars. This is a guy who inherited the world's largest candy manufacturer, Mars Incorporated. This $35 billion company makes some of the world's favourite candy products, including Snickers, Dove Bars and M&Ms. In addition to sweets, the company also makes Uncle Ben's rice and pet food, including pedigree and whiskers. He has a net worth today in excess of $23.6 billion. Number 34, Jacqueline Mars. She is currently the 18th richest person in the United States and has a fortune that comes from the same company as our last profilee, Mars Incorporated. Her net worth today is somewhere in the region of $23.6 billion. Number 33, David Thompson. Things are starting to get interesting with David Thompson, the head of the massive media publishing empire Thompson Writers. Another company he has holdings in is telecoms giant Bell Canada, 
and he also owns some of the world's most expensive paintings with a collection reported to include pieces from Pablo Picasso and the world's top collection of English romantic painters, John Constable. David Thompson has an estimated net worth of $25 billion. Number 32, Suzanne Clatten. Coming in at number 32 is Germany's richest woman, Suzanne Clatten. She and her brother own a total stake of 50% in car manufacturer BMW and is a trained economist and holds stakes in wind power outfit Nordex AG. She also owns several homes in both Germany and Austria, has a net worth of $25 billion and other than a few skiing holidays keeps well out of the public eye. Number 31, George Schaeffler. Owner of the Schaeffler Group, along with his mother, his company is one of the largest ball bearings and machine components manufacturers. They were hit hard in the financial crash, however, but managed to save the company from complete destruction and today he has a net worth of $25.3 billion. Number 30, Francois Pinault. Owner of fashion brands Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen and Stella McCartney, to name a few, he also owns sports brand Puma. Penault and his family own a 3,000-piece art collection with works by Picasso, Mondrian and Coons. They plan to open a museum in France in 2019. His net worth currently stands at $27 billion. Number 29, Jorge Paulo Le Mans. He is currently the richest man in Brazil and this is mainly due to his stake in the world's largest brewery. He also has stakes in Restaurant Brands International which owns Burger King and Tim Hortons and is a former tennis player who has played at Wimbledon. His current net worth is estimated at $27.4 billion. Number 28, Phil Knight. The former chairman of Knight comes in at number 28 and even though he has retired from the company, he still owns 26% in shares. Originally called Blue Ribbon Sports, the name was changed to Nike in 1978 after the Greek goddess of victory and the rest of that they say is history. Mr Knight has a total estimated net worth of $29.6 billion. Number 27, Bait Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr. Karl is a man who took over the German Aldi stores and some of the ones in Europe, while his brother, who we have already mentioned, got the ones in the UK. Bait Heister sits on the advisory board for the company and their combined wealth reaches to $29.8 billion. Number 26, Wang Zhanlin. Here we have China's richest man, and he's held that title for the last three to four years with his company, Dayland Wonder, Entertainment and a Real Estate Empire. He also owns American film company Legendary Entertainment and also US movie house chain AMC Theatres. With assets including up to five massive theme parks and one of Chicago's tallest buildings, it's no surprise that his wealth has ballooned to an estimated $30 billion. Number 25, Lee Shao Qi. We're halfway through the list and this property developer and commercial businessman originates from Guangdong province and settled in Hong Kong for his early years. Not much is known about any private assets he owns, however his company Henderson Land Development has made him a substantial fortune totaling $30.3 billion. Number 24, Wee Ka Yan. Chairman of Hong Kong listed Evergrande Group, one of China's biggest real estate developers, we started Evergrande in Gongzhou in 1996. Evergrande, which we took public in 2009, has over 800 projects in more than 280 cities. We worked as a technician in a steel factory for 10 years after graduating college in 1982, and his current net worth stands at $30.3 billion. Number 23, Li Kaxing. He is officially the richest man in Hong Kong and owns shares in many different franchises including sports, telecom and utilities. One of his more controversial holdings includes shares in Canadian oil giant Husky Energy which lost a rather large sum of money from the billionaire earlier this year. We doubt it will bother him though as he still easily takes number 23 with an estimated net worth of $34.9 billion. Number 22, Steve Ballmer. The former CEO of Microsoft has amassed a massive fortune and has picked up some of the pretty cool toys along the way. With an estimated net worth of $38.4 billion, some of his assets include houses, yachts and private jets. He added $6 billion to his fortune in 2018 alone after selling his shares in Microsoft. Number 21, Sheldon Adelson. 
He's pledged allegiance to Donald Trump in the 2016 election and to own Las Vegas Sands, the largest casino company in America, which opened its Paris-themed Macau Resort in September 2016. His current estimated net worth is $38.5 billion. Number 20, Jack Ma. Leading one of the biggest companies on the internet, the founder of Alibaba.com is in no way shy to a bit of controversy. The site has been accused of selling fakes, however last year alone it recorded sales of $423 billion and Jack Ma's fortune has hit a staggering $39 billion. Number 19, Mukesh Ambani. This Indian business magnate is the CEO and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company and India's second most valuable company by market value. He currently owns the most expensive house in the world, a massive 60-storey skyscraper covering 27,000 square feet, with 27 of those floors livable. And with an estimated net worth of $40.1 billion, it's easy to see why this guy has three private jets. Number 18, Francois Battencourt Mayers. Heading over to France, Francois Battencourt Mayers is the daughter of Liliane Battencourt, the richest woman in France who died in 2017 and was one of the country's biggest cosmetic magnates. Her children own L'Oreal that her father founded in 1907. She is currently the richest person in Europe with an estimated net worth of $42.2 billion. Number 17, Ma Hao-Teng. One of China's biggest internet entrepreneurs, Ma Hao-Teng is the founding president, chief executive officer and executive board member of Tencent Incorporated. The company controls China's biggest mobile instant messaging service and its subsidiaries provide media entertainment, internet and mobile phone value-added services. 2014 saw Time magazine call him one of the world's most influential people with a net worth over $45.3 billion and he owns a massive palatial palace in Hong Kong covering almost 20,000 square feet. Number 16, Alice Walton. She's the chairman of Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art and is another member of the Walmart family empire and has a net worth of $46 billion. She's the 12th richest person in the United States. She ranks 12th in the Forbes Top 400 in 2016. And if you're wondering, she has not taken hardly any active role in Walmart. Number 15, S. Robson Walton. He was Walmart CEO for nearly a quarter of a century and although he has stepped down, he still remains on the board. Together he and his family own half of Walmart and that is exactly the reason why he comes in with a net worth of $46.2 billion. Number 14, Jim Walton. The youngest of the four Walmart children, Jim Walton retired from Walmart's board in June 2016 after more than a decade on the job. Jim currently runs the family's Arvest Bank, which has branches in Arkansas, Kansas, Oklahoma and Missouri and boasts assets of more than $16 billion. Jim's net worth peaks today at $46.4 billion. Number 13, Sergey Brin. One of our recent top 10 expensive things subjects, Sergey Brin is one of the co-founders of internet giant Google. Brin was originally the head of Google's secretive Google X arm, but left that position to take up a new project. He currently serves as the president of Alphabet within the company, and yes, he owns a series of houses, cars, planes, a private yacht, and Google with an estimated net worth of $47.5 billion. Number 12, Larry Page. Just like his co-founder, he too is CEO of Alphabet and newly created parent of Google and its sister companies. If you add both Larry and Sergey's net worth together, you get somewhere close to a net worth of Google and a $70 billion valuation. Larry's solo estimated net worth, however, is around $48.8 billion. Number 11, Kim Jong-un. Although not appearing on the official Forbes list, Kim Jong-un is the leader of North Korea and his ownership of the whole country, including its powerful military, makes him number 11 on our list. Kim owns the cities of North Korea too, including its capital Pyongyang and many others throughout the oppressive state. He built a ski resort high in the mountains to try and lure Chinese and other foreign investors to the area. The world's largest hotel is located in Pyongyang and has only recently been completed after a 10-year construction. With the world's largest stadium also under his belt, we estimate that Kim Jong-un is easily worth $49 billion. Number 10, Michael Bloomberg. 
He's the former mayor of New York City and was one of the speakers at the Democratic National Convention, where he endorsed Hillary Clinton. He currently owns one of the largest media empires in the United States and owns 88% of the company he founded, while more recently he became a global ambassador for the World Health Organization. He's the first into our list of those with a net worth above $50 billion. Number 9. Larry Ellison Larry Ellison has been in the world of the billionaires for quite some time, and he owns more properties than most billionaires, so make sure you check out our 10 Expensive Things video on him. The real estate magnate also founded the software company Oracle, which handles global financial transactions around the world. He reportedly bought many of the properties in Carbon Beach by just offering their owners sums of monies they could not refuse. His net worth currently estimated at around $58.5 billion, maybe give or take a couple of billion here or there. Number 8. Charles and David Koch Joint CEOs of Koch Industries, a massive conglomerate empire that includes chemicals manufacturing, pipelines and commodities trading. Charles has been a Republican mega-donor for years, but has stated quite clearly that he does not favour either candidate in the 2016 presidential elections. Their individual net worths total $60 billion each. Number 7. Carlos Slim Hello. He's the richest man in Mexico and the seventh richest man in the entire world. Carlos Slim's money comes from assets in pan-Latin American mobile phone operator America Mobile. His shares in the company took a beating in recent years, however he is also a major shareholder in the New York Times where he owns 17%. His estimated net worth is currently $67.1 billion, so we don't expect he batted an eyelid when it dropped a couple of billion. Number 6. Amancio Ortega Owner of the richest retailer in the world, after founding Zara in 1975, he expanded through Europe and took on the financial crisis with all guns blazing and was one of the only people to remain unscathed, adding a massive $45 billion to his earnings during that time. He also owns one of the largest real estate companies on the planet, including properties in London, Barcelona and even New York. His net worth currently stands at $70 billion. Number 5. Mark Zuckerberg Another well-known name, Zuckerberg has raced to the top of the billionaires list in the last few years with the success of social networking site Facebook. The site has a record 1 billion users per day and with the introduction of advertising on the site, Zuckerberg's net worth has skyrocketed to $71 billion. He lives a very frugal lifestyle and only has a small house, private plane and a normal car. Number 4. Bernard Arnault he has a wine empire that spans over 70 brands and is considered to be one of the best in the business when it comes to wines. His 3,700 stores have clocked up 34 billion in sales and the bulk of his fortune is reportedly tied up in Christian Dior stock. The CEO of Louis Vuitton has an estimated net worth of $72 billion. No surprise there then. Number 3. Warren Buffett he is described as one of America's most successful businessmen and has a bank balance to prove it. The CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, he is ranked on the Forbes Top 100 at number 2 for 15 years before being overtaken in 2015 after he gave away nearly $3 billion to the Bill & Melinda Gates Foundation. His company also has a 10% stake in Wells Fargo. It's just money on top of money on top of money with this guy and his net worth shows it, coming in at a staggering $84 billion. Another one who lives a very frugal lifestyle, he does not even own a supercar and his biggest house is his beach home. Number 2. Bill Gates the founder of Microsoft and the world's richest man is so rich he makes $114.10 a second, or to be more precise, $4,100 a minute. On a more serious note, however, Bill is very careful with his money and has donated millions to charity through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. To find out more about his insane wealth, check out our top 10 video on him in the description below. His net worth in 2018 was $90 billion. In real time, however, it's already hit $96.4 billion and he owns one of the largest houses in the world. Number 1. Jeff Bezos One of the most successful shopping and retail magnates of all time, Jeff Bezos is the founder and CEO of Amazon, online shopping website and the world's richest person. The company has easily become one of the fastest companies to ever reach $100 billion in annual sales, which it cleared in 2015. 
Amazon is not his only passion, however, with plans afoot to create a major space company that will take people on rise to the edge of space and maybe one day Mars. His net worth currently is $112 billion, an incredible amount of money that should help him on that rather expensive project. Thanks for watching our video on the top 50 richest billionaires in the world. Please throw a like on the video to support the ongoing series, comment down below if you think I missed anything, and subscribe for more topless videos coming soon.